Good morning. Welcome to <clears throat> the Ada Believer channel. I'm glad you came back. If you'd been here before, welcome, welcome. And if this is your first time, welcome to you. Hope you come back. I want to have share some more videos. Uh, today is going to be a little different one. Same message. <laughs> it's about Jesus. But this I titled Christmas in July. And I see a lot of people decorating and doing things for Christmas in July. So I thought, well, this would be a good time for this song. So I'd like to share this little tune with you. Uh, I first want to bring some thoughts to where I've got this little tune. And uh, it was about in Luke, of course, the Christmas story. It's in Luke 2. It says, And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And I'm thinking today, it says that uh, uh, in Revelation 3.20, he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. And if man, any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Uh, he is still knocking on doors today and and in wanting to come in and dine and commune and tell people about get them prepared for eternity to choose me today that we may live together forever and uh, a lot of people are too busy they've got things to do things to take care of and they don't take time to open that door and make sure and some have heard the king is coming around he's coming around he may come to your door and knock and a lot of people know that Jesus and they know the story of Jesus and they know a lot of things but they're busy and so they don't really fully prepare or think that it, he's coming to their house or something I guess I don't know but here in Matthew 22 uh, the Lord says the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and he sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding because there is going to be a wedding in the air and there's going to be a wedding ceremony and there's going to be guests and there's going to be uh, attendees and there's going to be a bride and he's going out looking and he's trying to get choosing his bride to, to be at that wedding ceremony with him. And they would not come. He's inviting them to the wedding, and they would not come. Again he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it, and they went their ways, one to his farm and another to the, his merchandise. They're just too busy. They don't want to mess with that. Well, you know, he does that later. He says, go out and bid any of them to come in. said, they weren't worthy of me. They don't want me. So go out and bid any of them to come in. So the king is still walking among men today, knocking on doors, and he's hoping to be invited in. And, and so you can start today to prepare for the eternity that's facing us. It's going to be wonderful for those of us that's going to that wedding and that ceremony. And, and oh, it's just, I invite you today, open your heart. And Jesus ever nudges you and says, I want to talk with you. And you'll hear him in lots of ways. I don't know what he'll always say to you, but <clears throat> he'll always, you always feel a little repentance in there. Excuse me. <coughs> like you should talk to him he's wanting to talk to you so here's a little tune i made uh and i thought i'd sing it today because it is july i don't want to wait till <laughs> till december to sing this but here's how i kind of wrote it up i typed this up and sent it to my grandson i know the lord's dealing with him thank you jesus is there room in the end of your heart have you invited the king, <clears throat> the king of kings to stay? Have you prepared a place for his majesty? Please don't turn 
the Savior away. That's it. Uh, Jesus is walking on my man, knocking. And I want to come in, invite him to come in. And those of us that have invited him and have that joy and feel like we are preparing for eternity, and it's our job to go out and he might use us to knock on that door. Uh, he does use men today to knock on doors. And, and the Spirit, and the Lord goes with him. That Spirit will always be there to back up his word because his words are truth. And we couldn't convince anybody without the Holy Ghost uh, speaking to their hearts because the Holy Ghost is the confirmer. And I just thank God for this opportunity to share this little tune today. Um, I did plan on doing some some crafting and things for the crafters out there because I like to craft too and somebody told me says you need to do something and put some content into this and I was telling myself the same thing people aren't going to just want to sit there and listen to you talk and read they need something and I thought that is true I need so I did try to get some crafts together but you know what I have got to learn some stuff about this little thing called the iPhone computer and the computer and the apps that edit and help you do that or I could have a whole week making a video and nobody's gonna sit down for a whole week and watch a video till I learn how to edit cut and clip and do it right so <laughs> I haven't learned that and I feel like this is my calling to I don't know to this particular time I don't know how long it will last but I have a lot of tunes and a a lot of things to share and I so hope the right one finds this I pray that Lord bless you with it encourage you get out and knock on doors and and do your part to be what God has planned for us and I'll just say again thank you for watching the Ada Believer channel and I'm gonna learn some apps and do some other things too but in the meantime God bless you Come on back to my channel if you get a free minute and, and you have enough time. Come back and hear another song. Uh, I'll talk to you all later. God bless you. Bye-bye.